And there's a new addition to Guam's port, and it's the new state-of-the-art facility that is said to streamline terminal gate operations and improve traffic flow. PNC's Brittany Bell reports. Today, the Port Authority of Guam announced the completion of its seven-acre gate complex, which features three new gate stalls, four lanes, a three-generator load center, high-mast lighting, stormwater infrastructure, and a domestic water and fire suppression system that includes a 274,000-gallon concrete water tank. It's a really important day for the Port of Guam, and we've been very pleased to see the traffic flow is moving a lot quicker than it used to. Uh, previously, with our old gatehouse, uh, truckers had to line up sometimes on backup and essentially backup Route 11. Uh, now we have an extended runway that allows them to safely come in, turn in, and have adequate area and space uh, to wait in line as they're moving through the gate. So, significant upgrade. I mean, it's phase three of the expansion project is being funded by DOD and administered by the Maritime Administration, and it's the largest single part of the projects because that, that whole cost encompasses about $27 million. While they're still under construction under the three phases that they've completed, I'm standing here where Warehouse 2 once existed but is now a nine-acre break bulk area that can house and storage up to 700 cars per month at the port. Guam commercial port improvements of this three-phase program only began in 2013. The complete project should be finished by October of this year. Additional plans for the port include a terminal operating system slated for completion in April or May of 2016. This will electronically track containers from the arrival to the port, within the port, and departure from the port. Currently, the port gates are manned, but they have future plans for a GOS, gate operating system, which will be completely handled via electronic identifiers. It's been over 50 years, and with a $50 million project about a month away, the port is pleased and feels it is a strong contribution to Guam. We're very excited about it. It's a tremendous opportunity, a tremendous improvements that we're seeing, and at the end of the day, it's something that's going to benefit our community, and, and, and we, we're very excited and we're very pleased, and we certainly thank our partners with DOD, with Merit. Uh, with, with EA that is overseeing the project, certainly back construction because it's, it's their people that are actually doing the construction work and, and we're pleased with the cooperative effort that's been put forward to make this happen. Brittany Bell, PNC.